What is black excellence? <laughs> Urban Dictionary defines black excellence as someone who is black and portrays great qualities and abilities that make the black community proud. But I'm going to posit a few things of what black excellence is. Black excellence is a mindset. Black excellence is young people who are living their ancestors' wildest dreams. Black excellence is Maya Eaglin, the first black woman news director in ENN. Black excellence is Emmanuel Morgan, the first black executive director of ENN. Black excellence is Bridget Agbozo, the first black student to earn a Fulbright Summer Research Fellowship. Black excellence is 202 students earning a 3.2 GPA or higher. But allow me to illuminate some of the unsung heroes and heroines that contribute and make this space black excellence. Black excellence are the housekeepers in your residence halls and academic buildings who clean up after you. Black excellence are the physical plant employees who manicure our grounds so that you take pride in your school. Black excellence is the dining hall staff who prepare your meals and greet you with a warm smile. Black excellence is the dedicated staff who stay late into the evenings and come in on the weekends to make sure you have what you need. Black excellence is the faculty and staff who pray over you just so that you can triumph in the face of adversity. Black excellence is the black faculty who not only teach and mentor, but the ones who pour into you and nurture your humanity. Black excellence is the Elon Black Alumni Network members who remain engaged and ensure that your experience continues to be great and is better than theirs. Black excellence are parents, friends, family, caregivers, many who are here with us today and many who are here with us in spirit. These people never have given up on you. You see, while we are here to celebrate this evening academic achievement and, and excellence in the Elon experiences, we must be reminded that it takes a village to raise a child or in this case, a young adult. Black excellence is not simply relegated to civil rights leaders or figureheads within history books. Black excellence is living, it is breathing, and it is staring back at me right now. Good evening to everyone. I want to formally welcome you to the 26th annual Phillips Perry Black Excellence Award Ceremony. My name is Tyrone Jean, and I am the Assistant, Director, Assistant Dean of Students and Director in the Center for Race, Ethnicity, and Diversity Education, more lovingly known to students as the Creed. I am delighted that you all are here and have assembled to honor all of Elon's young black scholars. In 1993, Latanya Richmond, class of 1987, was the director of the then Multicultural Center, and she developed and implemented the first Black Excellence Awards Banquet. The mission of the Black Excellence Awards Banquet is to recognize, celebrate, and affirm the presence of black students on this campus. Approved by, approved by Elon University Board of Trustees, the annual Black Excellence Awards Banquet was named on April 22nd, 2006, to honor former Elon students Dr. Glenda Phillips Hightower, the first black student to attend Elon College in 1963, 
and the first black student to graduate from Elon, Eugene Perry, in 1969. <laughs> we are so fortunate to have both our namesakes with us here tonight. Dr. Phillips Hightower, Mr. Eugene Perry, please stand. To our trailblazers, thank you so much for everything that you have done. You have to know that without you, there is no black excellence. Over the years, the Phillips Perry Black Excellence Program has grown in both its standards for excellence as well as its participants. In addition to hearing about students' high academic achievement, we will celebrate brilliance in the Elon experiences, scholarship, and athletics. Now, I would like to bring to the podium one of our brightest scholars. You all know him as Kenny. I know him as El Presidente. <laughs> and Kenny will introduce um, our president, Dr. Connie Ledoux Book. Thank you. Hello. Hi. It's nice to see you all. Also, forgive me, I'm, my throat's a bit irritated, so if I cough a little bit, no, don't be too concerned. <laughs> Um, it is my pleasure to introduce a leader who I have had the honor of working with during my tenure as student body president. This leader is a woman of power, a woman of determination, and a woman of faith, always asking the question of how can we be better, a question that is not just posed to an institution, but also to herself, and ultimately us, as we work to become our full, authentic selves. Dr. Connie Ledoux book strives towards that goal and understands firsthand the transformative power of education and opportunity from a young age as her family drove from Louisiana to Oregon as her dad took an opportunity to continue his learning. Now a university president, Dr. Book reminisces on her journey a lot, going all the way back to her grandparents who were sharecroppers in Louisiana, to growing up in an impoverished community, to moving to Oregon, attending Louisiana State University, earning a bachelor's in journalism, then her master's, and eventually her doctorate from the University of Georgia. She started as a television producer and reporter, and then became a professor at various schools before arriving at Elon in 1999 as an assistant professor. She rose to department chair. She testified before Congress on transitioning to digital television. She became an associate dean, then a faculty fellow, helping with the current helping with the launch of the current Elon strategic plan, then associate provost in 2010. She left Elon to become the provost at the Citadel in South Carolina in 2015, the first female provost nearly 20 years after the school enrolled their first female cadet. She began new programs in nursing, cyber and intelligence security and the STEM field, increased enrollment for African-American, Latinx, and female first-year students, and introduced study abroad. She returned to Elon last year and currently serves as the president of the university, its ninth and first female president in its school's storied 130 year history. She also serves as a faculty advisor to the club table tennis team. <laughs> <laughs> For some, this may seem like a list, but to me and probably her, this is always becoming. Dr. Book, is a living embodiment of faith, hope, and opportunity. Coming from the granddaughter of sharecroppers to serving as president of a university built within a system that didn't have black students in mind, she is her ancestor's wildest dreams. And by simply being in this room, we are in the same position she is in, as scholars, as leaders, as mentors, has friends, has black excellence. We are our ancestors' wildest dreams. Please welcome the president of Elon University, Dr. Connie Ledoux Book. That was really good, wasn't it? 
<laughs> Very nice of Kenneth. Uh, Kenneth and I also share the fact that we are both one of nine children. <laughs> I always say that uh, when, because being one of nine, and Kenneth can appreciate this, is that we know the art of negotiation and compromise, <laughs> right? And uh, Dr. Glenda Phillips Hightower is one of nine. So this has been a year of nines. <laughs> So welcome to our, our students, our honorees, our parents, friends, and family. And we have alumni in the room, faculty, and staff to the 26th Annual Phillips Perry Black Excellence Awards. Tonight, we recognize the courage and commitment each of you have demonstrated to learning. And it's reflective of the event's namesakes, Dr. Glenda Phillips Hightower and Mr. Yoon Jean Perry, who as students also arrived at Elon uh, with a commitment to learning. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for you, it wasn't easy for them. And I describe those moments when you make a decision to put yourself into uh, a challenge as liberating acts. Yeah, I read a book and uh, the, the, the man writing the book was describing at eight years old this moment, uh, he wanted to build a boat. Uh, he got the wood together, and he made this boat, and uh, it lasted for a little bit, <laughs> and then it fell apart. But what he realized was, oh, I can dream something, and I can make it happen, right? So tonight, we celebrate your liberating act about your arrival at Elon, the dream you had, and the journey you've taken. And just like that sailboat on rocky wa waters, right, that sometimes your boat was rocking here. And sometimes it probably felt like it fell apart, right? But you found that voice inside yourself. You found that voice, that, that sense of purpose that kept you going. And I know you didn't do that alone. One of the things I'm most proud of is that you help each other. And when I see you across campus helping each other, it, I, I can feel it. That peer to peer, that, that encouragement you give each other. So, uh, parents and, and friends and family in the room, this group of students have earned the highest academic honors and prizes here at Elon. <laughs> so in this group of students, you have Lumen Prize winners, you have Fulbright Awards, you have students who have presented at this, the Student Undergraduate Research Forum. You have students elected to the top positions in student government and other associations and organizations. You have students who've earned prestigious internships, graduate school admission, fellowships, and parents are gonna love this, new employment. <laughs> <laughs> So you have much to be proud of, and we are excited to see your Elon degree set you on your next course. I look forward to shaking your hand when you cross that stage in May. Wow. <laughs> I'm also pleased uh, that just a few weeks ago that we awarded uh, the doc honorary doctorate degree to and now say on camp whenever she's on campus she's referred to as Dr. Glenda Phillips Hightower. <laughs> and it was actually a moment at the Black Excellence Awards that started the conversation about uh, Dr. Phillips Hightower's honorary degree. And it happened because Kenneth Brown's mother and I know she's here tonight. Can you stand for a minute? <laughs> Hearing uh, the story of Glenda Phillips Hightower and her arrival at Elon as the first black student in 1963, and then her departure as a sophomore, and then um, Glenda would go on to work in some of higher education's 
uh, highest association. She worked at the American Council on Education, and so she was immersed in all of this higher ed, uh, took classes, and then she would uh, eventually earn her nursing degree from the University of Iowa. Uh, so hearing her story, uh, Mrs. Brown leaned over to Kenneth Brown and said, couldn't Elon award her that degree? And then Kenneth Brown came to see me and said, is there a way to award a degree to Glenda Phillips Hightower? So, <laughs> and, <laughs> and knowing the, 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 the bylaws of the university, I said, Kenneth, there is a way that we can do that. And what I love about that story is not only that it provided Elon the opportunity to welcome Glenda Phillips Hightower with the degree in the way we should have welcomed her in 1963. <laughs> and I was very grateful that she allowed us to do that. But what I also love about that story is that it's about the importance of leading from your seat. Right, so there is Miss Brown, not even an Elon student, right? an Elon parent, and leading from her seat because she had a whisper. I always say that that's God whispering. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people hear those whispers and they don't do anything, right? But what Miss Brown did, she had that whisper and she leaned over and did something. And then because she raised Kenneth right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kenneth came to see me. I, I'm sure your dad had something to do with it, too. <laughs> uh, and because of that leading from your seat, that the world was changed, made better. And each of you have that very power to lead from your seat. That's how change happens. That's how the world's better. Right? Doesn't matter about titles, positions, ownership. None of that matters. Because when you hear that whisper, your sense of purpose, when you can see what other people can't see, that's, that's you. That's you. <laughs> So, uh, so my uh, parting uh, words to you are lead from your seat. You've done it by coming here, by taking advantage of every, the opportunities, right? By creating challenge. And you, you brought opportunities to the table because you saw things, right? So you own that. You've owned your intellectual journey. So you, you have, uh, you're already demonstrating you know how to lead from your seat. And what I wish for you for the rest of your lives is that you lead, right? That listen to your whisper. So I offer uh, you my hearty congratulations. I've gone off script, so I'm having to find my place just a second. <laughs> the team doesn't like it when I do that. <laughs> okay. So uh, one of the things I love about Elon is that we're in the middle of strategic planning. As Kenneth shared, we are closing our previous strategic plan. And so the students have been really engaged. I know I've had several conversations with all of you because you can see what we can't see. And it's really important for us to continue to become better, right? And so I'm very appreciative. And I know that's extra work that not all students carry that, that, you know, that, uh, I, that that's extra. And I'm so grateful that each of you have made time uh, for me and for Elon and, and are committed to, to Elon being better in the future. So I'm so grateful for that. We do, as Elon University, we're not affiliated with any, we're not a public institution. We're, we're not affiliated with any one religious. Uh, we're an independent college. So we get to own our future. We get to decide what institution we're going to be, the way that we will welcome people, the education we deliver, and the impact we have. It's all up to us. It's a, it's a, a great sense of freedom, but it's also a great sense of responsibility, right? That we get to decide Elon's future. 
and we're doing that together. And I know that uh, when I uh, look at the success of, of each of you, uh, what's important in our work is being the very best learning environment we possibly can be. And we can do that. And we'll do it together. And we'll, we'll, we're going to continue to advance Elon. And we'll be able to uh, watch each of you as you go out into your careers and on to graduate school. And we, we will share in the enthusiasm of your success. We'll have a lot of Elon pride uh, as you make your mark and find your sense of purpose in what's next. So thank you. Thanks to our family and friends for being here tonight. Thank you for all of your support in arriving these young people to this moment. You have to be enormously proud. I am. So thank you. Dr. Book, I love when you go off script because you said a word there. I had to get my pen out. I was like, yes, yes. So keep doing it. Keep doing it. Um, so I have the honor tonight um, to just kind of talk a little bit about the presentation of awards. And so um, earlier, um, Tyrone Jean shared that the Black Excellence Awards was established in 1993 with the mission to recognize, celebrate, and affirm the presence of black students here at Elon University. Students enrolled at Elon as full-time undergraduate students with a minimum of 12 semester hours of academic work and with a cumulative grade grade point average of 3.2 or higher are eligible for these awards. There are three academic excellence award categories that will be read off tonight. The maroon category, which recognizes a, a GPA of 3.2 to 3.49. The maroon category, which recognizes a GPA of a 3.5 to 3.79. And then the Phoenix category, which recognizes a GPA of 3.8 to a 4.0. These name, the names of students in each category will be read by members of the Elon Black Alumni Network. And we say your names tonight with celebration and with pride in our hearts for the legacies that you are building here on Elon's campus. Now I would like to invite Shana Whitstead to the podium. Good afternoon. At the start of the program, Tyreen Jean um, asked the question, what is black excellence? And I have the honor of answering the question by presenting to you the McGroom Group. These scholars have earned and maintained a GPA between 3.2 and 3.49, and we have 97 scholars to honor this evening. So, as I call your name, please stand and remain standing as I call each name. Alexa Bear. Jasmine Bender. Brianna Bennett. Asan Berry. Kenneth Brown Jr. Matthew Brown. Rachel Brown. Lauren Brunson. Sienna Burris, Destiny Carter, Mason Chambers, Hannah Shane, Lauren Clark, Victoria Coleman, Justice Coltrane, Jenny Costa, Malaysia Cross, Joel Davis, Makisha. Davis, James Donnell, Noah Dyson, Michaela Edwards, Jalen Evans, Gabriel Ferguson, Oscar Flores Montero, Denadia Franklin, Christopher Garner, Matisse Gilmore, Natalie Green, Zoe Griffin, Charles Hanna, Aminata Harris, Mara Harris, Abdul Malik Harrison, Shanae Lenore, 
Amani Henderson. Megan Hernandez Green, Isaiah Hill, Chantrice Howard, Jennifer Howard, <laughs> Hannah Hubbard, <laughs> Olivia Jacquere, Faith James, Jasmine Johnson, Janaea Jones, Alicia Jordan, Bria Kelly, Romello Knight, Avery Kutis, Kamal Lado, Derek Luster, Raina Mason, Michael Mesrobian, Holly Miranda, Charlotte Mitchell, Shantia Mitchell, Alexis Moore, Zachary Morrison, Sarah Mouton, <laughs> Sadia Munford, Olivia M Murray, Sarah Andretu, Bree Perpignan, Naomi Perry, Chandler Posey, Mariah Posey, Thomas Petit, Alicia Powell, <laughs> Catherine Rocio, Ashanti Road, Felicia, Felicia Robinson, Aaliyah Rogers, Sydney Rogers, Perla, Perla Salazar Rangel, Kira Sandeo, Joshua Simmons, Ariel Smith Watts, Raylan Spears, Taylor Spruill, Joseph Stanley, Sienna Stanfield, Brianna Statesman, Ashley Stewart, Jamay Silvestri, <laughs> Gary Summers, Araya Sykes, Sarah Talley, Tuki Tayali, Courtney Thompson, <laughs> Janae Tyson, <laughs> Mackenzie Wilkes, Gabriel Wil Wilson, Amani Withers, <laughs> Trinity Yancey, Jordan Young, Raven Young, and Cullen Zeno. Congratulations, Maroon Group. <laughs> you may be seated. Good evening. My name is Alonzo C, and I'm a two, 2018 alum of Elon University, and I have the honor of announcing the gold awardees. These select scholars have maintained a GPA of 3.5 to 3.79, and we have 82 scholars. Please stand and remain standing as I announce each recipient. Lauren Christina Adams. Bridget Agbozo. Angie Nicole Aguilar, Jalen Tony Alexander, Destiny Adia Allen, Joycelyn Bentley, Michaela Benton, Ashley Billy, Michaela Nellie Bramwell, Judah Brown, Patrick Douglas Brundage, Haley Michelle Burton, Samantha Joy Cabell, Tyler Campbell, Ashela Valletta Grace Cheris, Eba Shergi, Haley Marie Cole, Rebecca Collins, Eric Lewis Cunningham, 
Takea Davey, David Mac Duncan, Quentin Van Duncan, Brianna Sharia Edwards, Destin Danielle Floyd, Denora Francesca Flores, Samira Alexander Foster, Caitlin Rebecca Fowler, Siani Foy, Destiny Monet Fret, Ethan Lawrence Gabriel, Scotland Grace Goodman, Kristen Lenore Hackney, Michelle Lindsay Harlan, Audrey Elise Harris, Jasmine Hodges, Madison Braden Holmes, Diamond Howell, Layla Ann Rose Jackson, Kayla Jacobs, Kendra Shadea Johnson, Benjamin Bernard Jones, Milani Jamee Jones, Caprice Kennedy, Kevin Anthony Lacey, Jasmine Chantel Langley, Yasmeen Lee, Kayla Diane Lyles, Lucia Lozano Robledo, Charlene Martins Lopes, Jordan Alexis McAtee, Jariah Marie McGee, Trey Markel McMichael, Caitlin Loray Meta, Cameron Mullins, Stephanie Botema and Tim, Brittany Isabel Irene Wadike, Mariatu Iatunde Ekonofwa, <laughs> Sophia Ortiz, Samantha Patricia Palacios, Ariane Elena Payne, Cassidy McKay Perry, Sarah Elizabeth Puzzell, Nicholas Rios, Alexis Roberts, Lumiere Rostick, Kayla Sabre, Vanessa Amber Salama, Shalicia Monea Simpson, Eliza Lana Singleton, Malakia Monique Antoinette Sims Winfrey, Alana Helen Sol uh, Solomon Dodson, Erica Nicole Swinney, Christopher B. Terry, Jewel Coriana Tillman, Naomi Palamanga Joel Tiombiano, Emmanuel Eugene Toby, Julian Valderrama, Jordan Alexandria Vaughn, Hannah Lynn Webster, Sydney Nicole Wilson, and Christopher Isaiah Wooten. Please give them another round of applause. Good evening. Oh my goodness. Good evening. I am so, you knew it was coming, right? I am so, so very honored to be able to award these young women, my, in the past 20 minutes, adopted little sisters <laughs> for the Phoenix Award. These young ladies have achieved a GPA of a 3.8 or above.
We do have several students that are studying abroad, fulfilling internships, and sprinkling a little bit of maroon, Vegas gold, and black excellence throughout the world. So let's applaud for them. Recipients, as I announce your name, please stand up, come to the front to accept your plaque. Ah, ah. <laughs> Gabrielle Elise Bowman. We practice. We practice. Gabrielle Elise Beeman, thank you. Oh, you can go back to your seat. Yes. We did that on purpose. We practiced upstairs. Good job, girl. Good job. <laughs> Jasmine A. Campbell. Applauding in her absence, Anissa Marie Cooper. <laughs> Trinity Dominique Dixon. <laughs> Marta L. Gilletta. <laughs> Samantha R. Dominguez. Kristen Lee Drawn. I'm photobombing all of y'all's pictures, by the way. <laughs> In her absence, Maya Dale England. Applauding in her absence, Petra Marie Beryl Edwards. Michaela Lynette Ford. Jasmine Mary Liza Jones. <laughs> Applauding in her absence, Dana M. Knowles. <laughs> Yukila Little. <laughs> Lashandranique Love Marshall. Taylor Noel McFadden. <laughs> Rebecca Claire Oliver. <laughs> Applauding in her absence, Sydney Simmons. <laughs> Naya Vernell Spearman. Applauding in her absence, Taija Isabel Treor. <laughs> Chandler Alexis Vaughn. <laughs> I like that walk, Chandler. <laughs> Christine and Wanda. Briston McKenzie Witt. <laughs> Jordan Larice Simone Williams. <laughs> and one more time, if we can please award these amazing group of stars. Thank you, and I'd like to invite Dr. Randy Williams for special awards. Good evening. 
I have the honor of presenting some special awards this evening. Uh, the awards that I will be presenting are uh, awards for students with the highest GPA in a couple of categories. One by your social or entering class and then the other by student athlete. So I'll start with the first year student with the highest GPA of the first year class. And this award goes to Taija Isabel Treor. Our sophomore award winner is Samantha Dominguez. For the junior class, Ms. LaShondra Neek Love Marshall. And for the senior class, Gabrielle Elise Beeman. <laughs> the next category of, of student athlete award for the highest GPA the Female Student Athlete Award goes to Naya Spearman. <laughs> and the Male Student Athlete Award for the highest GPA goes to Tyler Campbell. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Elon is widely recognized as the preeminent university in the country for engaged and experiential learning. I am delighted to honor some graduating seniors selected for their distinction in one or more of the five Elon experiences. Community and civic engagement internships, global engagement, leadership, and undergraduate research. So let's begin with community and civic engagement. The nominator of this awardee writes, this student has served as the Elon Votes Coordinator and Andrew Goodman Foundation Ambassador in the Kernodal Center for Service Learning and Community Engagement for the past three years. In his role, he has encouraged students to register to vote and participate in citizenship education programs. He developed the Active Citizen Series, a nonpartisan university-wide program designed to cultivate the next generation of informed leaders who will help strengthen communities and shape our democracy. He is also a member of the Elon University Political Engagement Work Group that co-sponsors Deliberative Dialogue Program and continues to demonstrate his commitment to political engagement through internships with a political campaign and the Democracy Commitment and Initiative through the American Association of Colleges and Universities. Our awardee is also active in community engagement through Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated and as a leader in collaborative service with the Alamance County Public Libraries. We have been extremely impressed by his initiative, passion to improve our community, and record of accomplishment as a change agent. An outstanding student, leader, and citizen, he richly deserves this recognition. The awardee of excellence in community and civic engagement is Thomas Armu. Thomas could not be with us tonight, and I'll take his award and make sure he gets it. So thank you very much. Next, we have internships. The nominator of this award writes, this individual is the first recipient of the Black Life Advisory Council Study Abroad Scholarship. The award made it possible for her to have an academic abroad experience along with an internship with Design My Night, 
an online nightlife discovery guide and free event planning resource. While participating in a 2018 summer program in London, our awardee completed an internship with Design My Night as an editorial intern. This experience allowed her to apply her expert journalism skills as a blogger for websites, a reviewer of restaurants and bars, and as a writer covering launch events in the area. Design My Night was an ideal setting for her, considering the staff provided her with company insights, trust in her abilities, and space to do her thing. The company's investment in her proved to have great return as demonstrated by the valuable material she produced, including planning and booking information to help make London visits more entertaining for patrons. In turn, she obtained journalism experience that will inform her career path and build confidence which she will in unleash through her greatest gifts. The awardee for excellence in internships is Mariah Posey. Okay, we'll get that one to her too. <laughs> Next, global engagement. The nominator of this awardee writes, this nomination recognizes the continuous synchronous efforts of four individuals who since their travel abroad have worked tirelessly to champion participation, equity, diversity, and inclusion in the global engagement opportunities offered by Elon University. Having traveled to over 20 countries during their academic tenure between the four of them, these young women were selected <laughs> to participate in the inaugural Global Student Leadership Summit, sponsored by Diversity Abroad, an organization that connects talented, diverse, and underrepresented students and graduates to international education and career opportunities. Since their return to Elon, they have presented at numerous Elon student leadership conferences and meetings to encourage students from underrepresented and underserved social identities to participate in global engagement. They were instrumental in the organization and implementation of picking up the pieces, study abroad reentry for underrepresented students, a forum that attracted more than 40 global engagement returnees. As Elon continues to be a model for in global engagement, it is the efforts of faculty, staff, and students such as these that help advance this important work. The awardees for excellence in global engagement are Marta Giletta, Jasmine Hodges, Jasmine Langley, and Erica Swinney. Leadership. The nominee, nominator of this awardee writes, this individual is a driven, dedicated, and determined student with a passion for helping others. During his time at Elon, he has put his leadership skills and abilities into action by making positive social change and giving a voice to others. Our award, awardee has many strengths, including he is deliberate, thoughtful, and reflective. He is also observant, cognizant, strategic, and communicative. A 2019 Isabella Cannon Leadership Fellow, the nominee has held several key leadership roles on campus, including Diversity Ambassador for Elon's Admission Center and Student Ambassador for Elon's Global, Global Education Center. Both roles allow him to share his personal experiences and advocate for Elon's experiential learning opportunities. As a result of his demonstrated leadership and eagerness to learn, he was selected to attend a national session of the Leadership Institute for African American Men in the summer of 2017. He has since presented at numerous conferences and symposiums as his enduring leadership contribution, 
he created a scholarship for students of color to assist them in applying for pre-professional graduate programs to ensure they have adequate funding for testing and application. The awardee for excellence in leadership is Eric Cunningham. <laughs> Last but not least, undergraduate research. The nominator of this awardee writes, one of the many defining characteristics of this student's Elon experience is their intellectual curiosity and ability to translate research and theory into practice in her various campus roles and experiences. She has engaged in research throughout her career at Elon working collaboratively on a team to explore the intersectional identities of emerging adult black gay men. She has also designed culturally tailored sexual health education programs and enhanced service to underserved communities. A Thad Ure and Odyssey scholar, this nominee is also, she is also the first Elon student and black woman to be awarded a prestigious Fulbright UK Summer Institute Fellowship. <laughs> and there's more. As one of 10 students selected in the world, our awardee fearlessly conducted research on the transatlantic slaving system. She is a testament to action through translational research, and we look forward to all the great scholarship and practice she will engage in in the future. The awardee for excellence in undergraduate research is Bridget Ekboso. <laughs> One of my other responsibilities here at the university <laughs> is that I serve, uh, and I humbly serve, on the African and African American Studies at Elon Advisory um, Council. And so um, in the absence of Dr. Buffy Longmire Avatar, who, who is the program coordinator, um, I will read two awards. The first is the Lane Critical Race Consciousness Essay Contest. For the fourth consecutive year, African and African American Studies at Elon held our annual writing contest. Students are asked to read the work of a scholar that focused on the black experience and to craft a written response. Students who submit the essay are then invited to participate in a master class luncheon run by the scholar. This year, students read and interacted with the work of Dr. Biko Mandela Gray. Dr. Gray's research is primarily on the connection between race, subjectivity, religion, and embodiment exploring how these four categories play on one another in the concrete space of the human experience, such as Black Lives Matters movement. The winning essayist wrote, the perception of black life as an object brings with it the emotional weight of such terms without defining black people as either victims or perpetrators of their own oppression. While defining someone as an object would seem to erase their agency, Dr. Gray turns this concept on its head clarifying that while the type of agency may be shaped by their status as object, black lives still have the ability to create change. Please join me in a round of applause for the 2019 Lane Critical Race Consciousness Essay winner, Emily Guyton. Emily. <laughs> The Wilhelmina Boyd A Scholar Award was created in the spring of 2008 to honor the work and contributions of Professor Wilhelmina Boyd's 18 years of service to Elon University and African and African American Studies program. Colleagues have described Professor Boyd as a woman of natural elegance, 
and a warm, patient, and wise person. Professor Boyd was hired in the Department of English in 1987 and created the African and African American Studies Interdisciplinary Program in 1994. During her tenure at the university, Professor Boyd served as a member of the Minority Affairs Council, a hand-to-hand -hand mentor, an advisor to the Black Cultural Society, or better known today as the Black Student Union, introduced several popular African American literature courses, ran the African American Reading Day, which brought hundreds of students and faculty to read the words of African American writers, and brought in a stream of wonderful speakers. She was also a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. <laughs> Most importantly, perhaps, she maintained a strong commitment to see Elon become a more diverse and aware campus. The student earning this, uh, this award, the nominator wrote, this was one of the most challenging decisions to make. The ace, minor, the ace minor seniors graduating this spring are all game changers who have given much to this program, their respective disciplines, and this institution. However, there can only be one. The 2018-2019 awardee far exceeds the selection criteria. A recipient and nominee of multiple awards tonight and for other programs and departments. This student is one of the most engaging and dynamic students many of us in the room have come into contact with. The 2018-2019 Boyd recipient is a true emerging scholar of understanding and what it means to be African, or should I say Ghanaian, American, African American, Black, and Black American. This elevation has come through her constant engagement in social justice advocacy, her ferocious pursuit of an informed and equitable education, and her relentless desire to challenge the often easy acceptance of the systems that seek to bind us. I am proud to announce that this year's winner of the Wilhelmina Boyd A Scholar Award is Bridget Agbozo. So I'm Dwayne Imes. I'm currently serve as the co-chair of Elon Black Alumni Network um, Scholarship Committee. At this time, I would like to ask all alumni present in the room to please join me in the front at the podium as we prepare to award this year's EBAN Scholarship recipient. Thank you all for attending tonight's event and standing with me as we show support not only for our scholarship recipient, but for all black Elon students who have demonstrated such outstanding academic achievement. On behalf of EBAN, I would like to say congratulations again to all of tonight's recipients as we are proud of your accomplishments and your legacy you are building at Elon. Please know that you have a vast alumni network, a lot more that's standing up here right now. <laughs> <laughs> that is dedicated to your success and are excited to be a part of your Elon experience. Intended to make uh, an Elon education available to deserving black students, the Elon Black Alumni Network Scholarship Fund was established in 2007. Thanks to many pledges and gifts from EBAN members and friends of the university, the scholarship was endowed in just three years. To date, alumni and friends have donated over $275,000. Yay, yay. Scholarship is awarded annually to a high achieving African American student. This year, the scholarship will be awarded in a one time allotment of 
$13,500. The scholarship committee had the opportunity to review uh, essay questions. We were asked, um, we asked students about their perception of the issues facing Elon uh, black students today and what they hope to see change over the next 20 years. We also had the opportunity to do an in-person interview with several of our finalists just a few weeks ago. So we brought them up and we grilled them and asked them a whole bunch of questions. <laughs> we are extremely excited to announce that this year's recipient for the 2019 E-Band Scholarship is Riley Jones. Riley is, uh, Riley is unable to be here tonight because he is currently participating in an internship in New York City. Uh, but we're excited to... <laughs> so we're excited uh, to welcome him back to Elon in just a few short months. So next, I would like to invite Bridget Nubozo, she, you know that name, uh, to the podium to give the charge to students. Thank you. Hello, hello everyone. I'm gonna try and stay on script, but let the Lord lead you, right? <laughs> so, if you didn't know, my name is Bridget Agbozo. I'm sure you've heard it a couple times tonight. Can everyone hear me? Can I get a thumbs up? Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs down if you can't hear me. Okay, cool, we love to check in. Um, before I would, I would like to start, I would like to check in with all of you and make sure you feel as absolutely amazing as you look. Y'all really, really stepped out today. You really did, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm honored, I'm honored. In these next several minutes, my hope is not to radically shift your world, but to simply provide a different perspective. I hope my reflections can inspire you, entertain you, and make you ask a new question. I believe we should critically ask ourselves what black excellence can and does look like for students at such a special place as Elon. As an overly ambitious first year, I helped upheld what most of you likely to believe black excellence was. The highest GPA, the fullest calendar, and the longest email signature. <laughs> Looking at some of y'all. I did that, but I was exhausted. Eventually I fizzled out and was forced to reevaluate. I went through some really tough situations and had to ask myself some really tough questions. In all that reflection, I realized that my vision of black excellence was not in fact excellent. I began to see that it wasn't about having the highest number on your transcript or bragging about only getting X amount of hours of sleep the night before or even the number of smiles I got on my way to classes. Before I go any further, because I hear my mom, she's like, Bridget? <laughs> I want to emphasize that passing your classes and being an engaged student and community member is important, okay? Mom. <laughs> I'm just saying that we can't reduce ourselves to what we believe others expect us to do. Amen. At this point, black excellence to me is synonymous with self-preservation. It's holding your entire well-being at the utmost importance. It's an understanding that if you are not well, then your work, relationships, and environment are not well. For me, black excellence is a holistic concept that I practice on a weekly, daily, and hourly basis. It goes beyond academic accolades and self-care days. It reminds me of who I am and who I come from. It grounds me in my values, relationships, nature, and sense of spirituality. It helps me prioritize my peace. To help illustrate, I will share a couple of mantras that have helped me redefine and realize my vision of black excellence. 
I've said a couple up to this point, but I have a few that I believe to be especially important. The first is, let your feelings flow, but don't forget to grow. See, Kenny, he knows. This quote has cemented the importance of maintaining and cultivating my emotional, mental, and spiritual well-being. It's not about pushing my feelings away or spending my days crying, but simply feeling fully, respecting wherever I'm at in that moment, not getting stuck in that moment. Doing this has led me to experience some of the most fulfilling growth moments. The second is, not all have an eye for your light. This one has been especially hard for me to learn during my journey. And I want to add a little asterisk at the end because sometimes, sometimes you don't have an eye for your light. This concept is so important when it comes to black excellence because we are often placed in places and spaces where we become a beacon of knowledge, wisdom, or entertainment. I believe that it is important to not let that context be the sole determinant of your worth. The third and final one is gratitude. Gratitude is a reflection of energy in the form you choose. It could be a handwritten letter of thanks, a swipe at McEwen, thank you first years, <laughs> and sophomores, a gift card, or even a consensual hug. Whatever you do, practice abundant gratitude. You can thank faculty staff members, those who feed you, those who open the door for you, or even those who pay your tuition. <laughs> if you're like me, you can thank the food pickers who helped you get that kale, your thighs for pushing you through that last mile, the mentor you know will write that last minute recommendation letter, and for the sun shining every single day, a reminder that you are alive and so worthy of good. I hope these reflections can help you think about how you define black excellence for yourself. You can cho choose to take these with you into the next semester, major life transition, or just into the next day. I wish you all the best. I wish you all lots of sleep. <laughs> I wish you all the time and space to be your most authentic self. And to my fellow 2019 graduates, <laughs> did, you really, did you really need to tell me? I'm holding on, okay? And to my fellow 2019 graduates, I wish you all the abundant encouragement you need as you embark on whatever new adventure comes your way. Thank you.